beautiful day over here, hanging out with beautiful people, and we're gonna hand it over to Jean-Luc Godard to capture some French new wave for us. What's happening, Goodman? What's happening, my friend? How are you feeling? What's going on in your consciousness right now? You are the eye of the audience. How you frame this scene will inform the experience that viewers have. The nature of videography, the ability to transcribe, to render into immortality, to render into the infinite, a fleeting moment, a brief glimpse of transient inspiration. How did human beings come up with a capacity to bottle the numinous, right? I mean, the whole notion of inspiration, the reverie and the rhapsody of ecstasis is an experience beyond language, right? It is an ephemeral glimpse of something more. How did human beings, when in these states of liminality, these threshold states between dreams and reality, how did we figure out to, to create technology made of plastic and metal that would allow us literally to snapshot, to capture, to eternalize and memorialize these unfoldings of matter and mind, these intersubjective rhapsodies. I mean, what cinema can do, what media can do, its capacity to actually absorb reality, to bottle <laughs> what's happening, is an engineering miracle. And a glimpse, a taste, a way of sharing mental life, right? In the ongoing desire, right, mankind's historical drive to manifest his consciousness outside of his mind in front of his eyes. Cinema <laughs> is a reflection, I think, of consciousness. Consciousness meets its own process with cinema. It is the culmination of the artistic endeavor from hieroglyphics and cave paintings and writing and music and song to finally land at a completed simulacra of human interior life. That is, that is cinema. It engenders us with a kind of metaphysical godhood. Nothing quite like it.